Welcome back to my channel and today if you haven't found this is my pumpkin my first Halloween look like serious look so um if you want to learn how to do this pumpkin just stay tuned to watch it's kind of long but you know what the so I'm just gonna break this down before we start this video is going to be a talk through so it's not super long I'm just going to be like quickly saying what I'm doing um Right now I'll list what I'll be using, I'll probably say it again later. I'm just going to be using a bunch of Mehran body paint. I'm using red, white, orange of course, black, and some silver and gold. And then I'm going to be using makeup brushes and an eyeliner pencil. Um, and eyeshadow. But this video is going to be quick, I hope, like I'm just trying not to make it 20 hours long. And for this picture, I'm using reference pictures of pumpkins, a couple of them, I think. And yeah, so let's get this show on the road. So I start by putting my makeup gear on, because I'm going to be doing a neck thing. I'm using a Velcro towel. I put my hair back. And I'm also not removing my makeup, because I'm just going to put black on my eyes anyway. So I'm like, what's the point of removing it? But I'm just going to talk through this part, because it's really easy. I'm just going to start by covering everything orange or whatever shades of orange I'm going to be making. So for the first step, obviously, I'm covering my face in orange. I'm using different shades of orange. And then I'm doing some contouring with this pumpkin. I'm going to be using lighter orange shades to do my average highlighting and the darker shades for the contouring. And also adding some cool looking things to my neck. For the neck, I'm just going down, making lines, and filling them in. Now I'm going in with a darker shade of orange mixed with some black, and I'm just going to be contouring my face to make my face look more three-dimensional as a pumpkin and not so orange, and I'm just blending it out. And also adding some to my neck pieces so they look three-dimensional. I am then going in with a eyeliner pencil and just outlining the spots of, well, the lines of the pumpkin shape and just doing it very lightly because I'm going to go in later and make them darker and then also outlining my nose. I am then outlining my jaw bones and going in more on those lines to give them a little more depth. Then I'm taking a black body paint on a brush and just shading the lines so they look more three-dimensional, not just a harsh line. I had to make a phone call, but also just continuing with the shading, with the black. My highlight is on point. And then I'm just going to create a half skull looking mouth just by outlining it and then filling it in. So then I'm starting with the teeth. I first started by creating two lines across and now I'm just making triangle candy corn looking. Now that the teeth are done I'm going to be filling them all in white. Don't worry if you go out of the lines a little because you're going to fix it up later. So then I'm just applying more highlight onto my face in certain sections where I feel like the pumpkin roundness would stick out more than the rest. Just using white and blending it out into the orange. Now I'm taking the gold color by Mayron Makeup and I'm just applying that to all the teeth. Now I'm just going in with the black and I'm going to re-outline the teeth. So they look much cleaner than when they did earlier. Now I'm just going in with the black and I'm filling in my nose. I have to go around my nose ring, so excuse that. Now I'm going in with the black and I'm just going to start by doing my eyes and bringing a straight line up to my eyebrow and filling it entirely in. And I'm also going above my eyebrow, and I'm going to be making it into a circle down to my eyelid. 
Now that you can see it on one eye, I'm just doing the same thing on the other side to make it identical. And then I'm taking black eyeshadow and dabbing it all over the eye and underneath so it stays on without creasing. And now I'm just going with some black eyeshadow and adding some depth into my teeth and anywhere else I feel like I need it on my face. And now I'm just taking the black and I'm outlining the jawbone I drew in earlier and bringing it down my neck. For this part, I drew a line around my neck and I'm just filling it in with the color black. And then I'm just going to be dragging it down with the brush and all the extra paint that is on it. Just down till I feel like it's enough going down my neck. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up, if you like these kind of videos, thumbs up. Leave a comment below if there's any sort of makeup Halloween look you would like. And this is the first of the Halloween Crisis series. This is my pumpkin. Thanks for watching.